My name is Steven Schultes. I teach sixth grade earth and space science at Hardy Middle School, part of Washington DC public schools. Here is a teacher tip about self-paced student learning stations for my modern classroom. I knew that the sequencing and structure of learning activities mattered especially in a class like science where students are discovering and experiencing new concepts. I wanted to support students to eventually make their own decisions about the learning activities, choosing activities that would help them master new material. I envisioned an active learning space with students working on different activities of their choice at the same time. This led me to create student learning stations. At the start of an instructional sequence, after all students participate in an initial engaged learning activity, introducing a topic, students then choose how they'd like to further explore that topic by selecting a branching path from our learning map. Students can dive into this new topic at an explore it station with a hands-on lab activity. They could choose to read about it at the read it station. Students could also research it to further investigate an aspect of the topic, or organize a data set at the Organize It station. I considered these should-do lessons to further differentiate for my learners. When students finish one station, they simply move along their self-paced learning path to the next one. Sometimes, students are required to complete all stations. Other times, they only have to complete a certain number of exploration stations before they reach a mastery check a place where all of the branching paths eventually converge. Mastery checks usually take the form of a write-it station where students complete a written explanation or application of the topic so that I can assess student mastery and allow them to continue on their learning journey. Students repeat this cycle every few weeks throughout a unit as we introduce more topics. These learning stations have become a fundamental aspect of my modern classroom. I always had a vision of students working on different activities of their choosing in my science classroom, but couldn't quite figure out how to make it happen. Modern classrooms helped me make this vision of self-pacing with stations a reality. Now, my classroom has the buzz of inquiry and experimentation. I hope this tip about self-paced stations for my modern classroom helps bring a vision for your classroom to life.